this session we're going to learn how to create a third table including the structure from a CSV file in Microsoft Access. So we have here this invoices list. We're going to create a table called invoices and that data we imported from some kind of system out there that's comma separated values. So to create a new table we go here under external data and we want to import the data from a text file. So we click on next here, locate wherever our file is and notice it's under my working files and this would be also in your working files if you expanded it. We choose invoices list, we click on open, then click OK and then we want to tell the system here that this is a delimited type of uh, data file which the values are separated by a comma. And you'll know that when you receive the file from whatever system there, it will typically be a CSV file. Then we click on next, and then we want to tell the system that this is a comma separated values. So the values here for each column, they are separated by a comma. I'll go next again, so we choose comma. And then notice here, it says first row contain the field name. So make sure you select this one. If you skipped it, go back and try to follow it. So we want comma. First row contains the field names. Click on next. And then we leave these the way they are for now. Click on next. Then make sure you choose your own primary key. And the invoice number is going to be the primary key. Next. And then this is going to be invoices. And then click on finish. So now we have an additional table here. In this new table, it's called invoices. Notice one key aspect here. If we go to customers, we have here customer ID. This will be our primary key for this table. So even if we went over here under design view, notice customer ID has this golden key here. So that's our unique identifier for this table. Now, if you go to another table here, so if we go, for example, to contracts, and open this up and go under design view. Notice that contract number is the unique identifier for this table. Anytime you're designing a new table, that table has to have some kind of unique identifier or primary key. Now notice as well here that this table also has another field called customer ID. And the customer ID here, we saw it that it was a primary key for the customer's table that we saw earlier. So it was on this one. What that means is, is that for the table contracts, the primary key is contract number. That's the main differentiator. And now customer ID is what's called a foreign key. Basically, it will give us the option to link customer ID from this table to the customer's table with customer ID field. So the concept there is, is that in a database, in a relational database, the tables are linked together one to another and such using primary and foreign keys. The foreign key is the common field between two tables. It's that field that is the secondary. It's not the primary key on that second table. So for example, here we are saying we have a contract with this number but then this contract is associated with a customer of a specific number. So if we go here under, for example, customer 1105, and we go here under contracts, and we see 11005, that's saying that this contract 3033 belongs to customer 11005. The concept to remember is when you're designing this, you need to design also for foreign keys, the common field that will connect one table to the other. And we'll learn how to connect those tables in a moment here. Now, even if you went here under invoices, you'll notice that the invoices has an invoice number. That's a primary key. But then you have a contract number, which will eventually connect to the contract number here from the contracts table. And in the invoices table, so the primary key is this one, but then this is the foreign key for this table. So primary keys and foreign keys are two very important concepts that play an important role when you're designing the database because they'll need to be linked together. And that's what we'll learn in the next session here. We'll learn how to link 
the tables using the primary keys and the foreign keys.